name is Dugan Hammock, and I'm from Austin, Texas. My interest in science began as a toddler, I hear. I would always walk around asking, what's that? how that work? And um, <clears throat> I remember as a kid, I would uh, get in arguments with my dad about why the speed of light was such a, a limit. I couldn't go faster than it. And I'd say, why you can't go faster than light? It's just because of the way it is. I didn't like that answer. I'd always argue. <laughs> So my interest in mathematics, I guess, I have no idea why. It just consumed me. I got to college and I took some computer science course and thought about majoring in that, <clears throat> but that only lasted like one semester. I just started taking mathematics courses after that as much as I could. So it's a really solid form of truth to know about um, and its purity and its, its truthness, I guess. A priori, like you know, other, other, like if there are aliens, they would have to, you know, come to the same conclusions about two plus two being four and whatnot. Pure mathematics for my undergraduate at University of Texas, and I went to UMass Amherst for my graduate work. And I was doing some like web development stuff uh, for a healthcare company. Um, which was fun and, you know, engaging in a sort of technical computer sense because you're like having to learn all these software packages and make content uh, of a certain format. Um, so, yeah, I, could <clears throat> I had a good time there. And I was also um, doing some art on the side for uh, Max Cooper, producing some segments for his uh, audio video show. I went to this conference in the Netherlands that year called Bridges, Bridging the Art, Bridging the, <laughs> Bridging the Disciplines of Mathematics and Art. And um, so I presented a paper about um, hmm, taking slices of four dimensional shapes, three dimensional slices of four dimensional shapes. I started getting emails from this guy, Klee, and he needed someone who can visualize hyper shapes and work in multi-dimensional mathematical, computational, geometric capacities. Um, so, yeah. He found me through Ray. Yeah, Raymond. I like the environment, the work environment. No, I like being able to investigate interesting questions. Right now I'm working on quasi-crystals from a mathematics um, construction point of view. So like a day-to-day -day job for me lately would be investigating multidimensional root lattices uh, on the computer, uh, generating them and um, Looking at projections of them to lower dimensional spaces, getting quasi-crystal tilings out of those, and then analyzing those for patterns. Um, so yeah, that'd be a lot of computer modeling, um, calculating what shapes might be projected onto the visual plane, if it's two dimensions or three dimensions or four dimensions that you're projecting to. Um, so in the case of like two dimensions, I might have triangles or quadrilaterals that I would have to select and then project onto the plane that would make a tiling there. In the case of three dimensions, it might be like tetrahedrons or like rhombohedrons or something like that. That would be the, the building blocks of a tiling. And in the case of like the Elzer Sloan quasi-crystal, that'd be a four dimensional tiling, a tiling of four, four-dimensional space by not triangles, not tetrahedron, but pentatopes. I'm interested in uh, cosmology, what's going on in the big picture. Um, 
dark energy, if we could figure out what, what that is, what's, why is space getting longer on the cosmic scale? There's something about space where it's like, if you just set it down and you let it sit there, it's gonna get bigger. No one knows why. Always be willing to learn something new. Um, even if it's a little crazy because no one knows what's really going on <laughs> and physics gets murky fast.